Azure Tech Reviews here with kind of the installation or pretty much how the bezel blaster works and the finishing results. This retails for $10 and if you want to check them out their link will be in the sidebar. What you get in the packaging is the optics cloth which has a very nice and interesting material to it. And you get the pad itself. The pad consists of kind of a sandpaper rough side. It comes with a kind of spongy soft finishing touch side. So the first thing I want to start here is I did kind of already do pretty much most of it except for one side just to kind of show you guys. So as you can see you guys might think it's just okay but after you see the side that's all scratched up you'll think it's pretty good. This side I'm not 100% done but as you can see here it's pretty much the finishing result. It does make the bezel look duller which I don't really like but it does remove the scratches. So there, and this is the side that's all scratched up. As you can see, the difference there, it is way shinier. But then, check out all those scratches, guys. I am the type of person to drop my phone a lot, so that's why I have so many scratches on my bezel, and that's why I purchased this. The main flaw about this is I really, really don't like how it makes your bezel duller. And if you're not careful enough, guys, as you can see, it's kind of, it kind of discolors the glossy part of your phone if the sponge somehow rubs on there so you gotta be really careful guys and this takes time so don't just rush into it so first thing you want to do is grab the optics cloth just make sure there's not that no oil and stuff just kind of clean that off next thing you want to do is use the rough side and just kind of you know slowly just rub against it like so back and forth motion you don't want it like here let me just do this for a little so I can concentrate and not scratch the phone. You want to apply a little pressure and make sure you don't go too fast for pretty much the best results you can get. So as you can see it is starting to look better but it's still not done so I'll come back and then we'll do the finishing touch side. Okay guys like two three minutes later after doing the rough pad here are the results. It's not too bad guys as you can see. Now on to the soft pad. For the soft pad you just want to do the exact same thing except you don't have to worry as much about uh, about scratching your phone. So let's just go ahead and do this part. It is kind of squeaky so just wanted to warn you. Well sometimes it is at least. So just kind of, this should take maybe 10, 5 to 10 motions going back and forth. Okay, so it doesn't do that much, guys. I don't even know what the soft touch is for, so it does look a little better, but not really. So the last step into this installation type thing, choose your optics wipe, and just kind of wipe it down, you know, just to get the rest of whatever you're trying to get off your phone. And there are the finishing results, guys. Sorry, I, I tried taking a picture of the before and after, but it just didn't work out, so I'm afraid you then have to go rewind into the video seeing how scratched up it is and kind of compare it, guys, for yourself. So I'm sorry about that. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this. At the end of this video, you should see a clip of the before bezel blaster and after the bezel blaster for the volume rocker and mute button. So I hope you enjoyed that. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. But... Here's the million dollar question like usual. Do I think this bezel blaster is worth 10 bucks American or US? No, I actually don't think it's worth 10 bucks, guys. I'm going to have to turn you down on that. And I'd say it's worth about $7. So please think before you purchase, guys. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. So just rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos, guys. Bam. Volume rocker mute button before the bezel blaster. Volume rocker and mute button after the bezel blaster.